Hello everyone. Let's continue our lesson Mathematics Year 1 with the subtopic of Recognize the Clock and Time. You're going to do this lesson with me, your teacher, and my name is Amira. Before we begin, I would like to say hello and welcome to all of you. Are you ready? Please be ready. Set up your study space. Turn to page 34 and 35 of Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. Hurry up! Turn to page 34 and 35 of Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. For today, you will learn about Our Hand and Minute Hand. You will be able to recognize and label the Our Hand and Minute Hand. Secondly, you will learn about shaded portion on the clock face. You will be able to state the shaded portion on the clock face. Before we begin, let's do some short quiz. Let's read the question together. Look at number here and look at the underlined number. Now, let's read the question together. What is the place value for digit 1 in this number? What is the place value for digit 1 in this number? What do you think? Place value for number 1, the underlined number. Let's check the answer. Place value for number 1 in this number is tens. Tens. Well done if you get the answer correct for this question. Next, let's look at next question. Look at the number carefully. Look at the underlined number. Now, let's read the question together. What is the place value for digit 6 in this number? What is the place value for digit 6 in this number? What do you think? Now, let's check the answer. Place value for digit 6 in this number is 1. O N E S. 1. Well done if you get the answer correctly. Now, let's move to the next question. Let's read the question together. What is the place value for digit 1 in this number? What is the place value for digit 1 in this number? Look carefully. Try to recall. Now, let's check the answer. Place value for digit 1 in 41 is 1s. O N E S. 1s. Alright, well done if you get the answer correct for all the questions. Now, we're going to learn about the clock hands. This is what we call a clock. A clock. This is the example of a clock. Now, let's look at the clock hands. We start with the short hand. The short hand is called our hand. Say with me. Our hand. Say with me again, our hand. To recognize the our hand, it is the shorter one. The short hand, we call it our hand. The short hand on the clock face is called our hand. Now, let's look at the longer hand. 
The long one is called minute hand. Say with me, minute hand. Well done. Say with me again, minute hand. Minute hand. The long one is minute hand. So now we already learned about both of the clock hands. The short one is shown in the picture here as in the blue needle. The short or the blue one is called our hand. The long and red color hand is called minute hand. Our hand and minute hand. These are two main hands for the clock face. Alright, let's learn about shaded portion on clock face. We're going to look at shaded portion on the clock face. But before that, Let's look at this picture of a fraction. Do you still remember when we learn about fraction, we will see this kind of picture. This is what we call quarter. Say with me, quarter. Say with me again, quarter. Well done. So, the same thing apply when we do on the clock face. Let's look at the shaded portion on the clock face. In this clock face, the shaded portion colored with blue color. Now, when the minute hand has moved from number 12 to number 3, and we have the shaded portion as shown here in the blue color shaded portion on the clock face and the minute hand is pointing to number three. So this shaded portion is called quarter of an hour. Say with me quarter of an hour to recognize quarter of an hour, the shaded portion will look like this and the minute hand is pointing to number 3. Quarter of an hour. Alright, now let's move at the next shaded portion. Let's recall about the fraction. When we learn about the fraction, this time, this kind of diagram is being called half. Say with me, half. This is also half. Half. Now, let's look at the shaded portion of the clock face. When the minute hand point to number 6, minute hand pointing to number 6, and we have the shaded portion as shown in the picture here with the blue color shaded portion. This shaded portion is called half of an hour, half of an hour. The easiest way to recognize half of an hour is the shaded portion is already shaded into half of the clock face and the needle or the minute hand is pointing to number six. Half of an hour. Now, when we learn about fraction, we also learn about three-quarter. This is the diagram for 
three quarter. Say with me, three quarter. This is also called three quarter. Three quarter. Now let's look at the clock face. When the shaded portion of the clock face has moved to number nine, the minute hand has already moved from number twelve to number three and then to number six, and now it's pointing to number nine. And we have the shaded portion with the blue color as shown here. This shaded portion of the clock face is called three quarter of an hour. Three quarter of an hour. Say with me. Three quarter of an hour. All right, well done. Now it's question and answer session. It's really exciting. Hmm, let's look at the question. Let's read together. What is the shaded portion of this clock face? What do you think? The minute hand is now pointing to number 3 and we have the shaded portion as shown here on the clock face. So, what is the shaded portion of this clock face? What do you think? Let's check the answer. The answer is quarter of an hour. Quarter of an hour. Well done. Now, let's look at next question. Look at the portion, look at the shaded portion of this clock face. And look at the minute hand. The minute hand is pointing to number 6. So, let's read the question together. What is the shaded portion of this clock face? What do you think? What is the shaded portion of this clock face? Hmm. Let's check the answer. The answer is half of an hour. Half of an hour. Well done if you get the answer correct. Woohoo! Now, let's look at next question. Let's read together. What is the shaded portion of this clock face? Hmm, look at the shaded portion carefully. What is the shaded portion of this clock face? The minute hand now pointing to number 9. Minute hand is pointing to number 9. So, what is the shaded portion of this clock face? What do you think? Let's check the answer. It's three quarter of an hour. Three quarter of an hour. Well done and good job if you get the answer correct. Now, let's look at the next question. Hmm, this question is a bit tricky. Let's, le let's read the question together. What is the shaded portion of this clock face? You need to look carefully at the shaded portion of this clock face. Even though 
the minute hand is pointing to number 9, but you still need to look at the shaded portion of this clock face. Be careful. So, what do you think the answer will be? Let's check the answer. The answer is quarter of an hour. Even though the minute hand is pointing to number 9, but in this case, you still need to look at the shaded portion of this clock face. The shaded portion of this clock face is showing quarter. So, the answer will be quarter of an hour. Quarter of an hour. Alright, that's all for today. So, for today's main task, you need to complete page 34 and 35 of Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. Please submit this task before 5 p.m. today. Take your pencil now and circle page 34 and 35 of Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. This is your main task. You need to submit this task before 5 p.m. today. For your additional task, hmm, no additional task for today. Woohoo! Alright, that's all for today. Thank you. And don't forget to please refer to your Google Classroom for further instructions. Please refer to your Google Classroom for further instructions. That's all for today. Thank you. See you next time. Goodbye.